Good morning, everyone. During this presentation, we will demonstrate how a user can run a scheduler report in the data warehouse environment. We will also explain in more detail the manual dynamic date prompts. First, we log on to the IAC states of the data warehouse. From the top left corner, I will choose content, team content, predefined reports, STA folder. And now I will run the STA01 report. I can click either uh, on the report name or on the ellipsis on the right uh, side of the name select run as and then from here from the menu i can choose the report output format of my preference in this case i will leave it to the standard which is the html and i will click on run in the problem in the prompt page that comes up my selections will be january 1st up to today and for the big i'm going to pick up this thing select it and i will click on reprompt so that the account numbers of the specific big become available and then i'm going to choose this account number and I'm going to click on finish. And here are the results. Now, before running the second report, I want to show you a small presentation, which is this one. Uh, before going that, just note this button which is the system information. This is on the left-hand side, always of the data warehouse environment. Okay, let's have a look in, in here. When we run uh, the system information, we get the report with two pages on the user details, uh, which is our main interest, is a number of information that we are very interested of. For example, which roles are assigned to the user that I'm using? This is the user that I used, and these are the roles. Here we see that in our case, we are advanced users, which means that we can create or modify reports, and most importantly, schedule them. However, for the moment, we are interested for the last business day, which is this one, and this because we will use it in the dynamic prompts. The last business day is updated at the end of the ETL load and is based on the loaded transactional data. What is and why we use the manual dynamic data prompts? It is a way to facilitate the scheduling of a report in a way that the user is not obliged to change the time range of a schedule on a regular base, but have it dynamically assigned to the, by the system. Here you can see a comparison between the manual and dynamic prompt and which field correspond to which in every case. So the starting date, uh, the date from, is the equivalent to the reference date, and the ending date, the day two, is equivalent uh, to the last business date in this case. Here we see uh, the content 
of these uh, options. When we are talking about the reference date, in here we are having the ability to choose between the last or the prior of last business date. And that's why I was showing you before the last business date in the uh, relevant uh, system information page. And the time range is all these things. The reference date is exactly the same, then minus one, minus two, so that you can choose any date within the, uh, the period. And then we have the to date, which means from the beginning up to the current date, beginning of the year, quarter, month, and week. Okay, now I'm going to return back to the Cognos environment. I'm going to close this thing. And the report that I'm going to use is the IDC05. Now, as we all know, an advanced user can modify or schedule a predefined report, but only if he creates a copy of this report. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the IDC, select the IDC05, create a copy of that in my content, copy that, then I can go to my content, and here it is, that's the report. What I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to run it multiple times so that you see the different options that we have here. So uh, at the beginning, I'm going to run it as it is, as manual option for a specific party. And then I will start from the 1st of January and I'm going to use this big. I'm going to select this thing, click finish. <clears throat> and here is the result. Now, notice this thing here on the top, 1st of uh, January, 2023, up to the 19th. What I'm going to do is run that again and I'm going to select dynamic, very prompt. We have seen that before. So I'm going to leave it as last business date. And the reference date is going to be month date in my case. I'm going to run this again. And here it is. Notice again that the last business date is the 18th currently in our system. And since that moment that we have chosen month to date, that means from the 1st of January of 2023. So that's the time range that we are using to calculate this report. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to build a schedule on that. I'm going to select properties and I'm going to create a schedule. So here I can choose the type of the schedule, which is the frequency that I want to run it. And here are the options. But in my case, I'm going to use the by trigger. And in here, I'm going to use the trigger name that I want to utilize for this specific report. What does by trigger means? Means that at the end of the ETL loading, it's going to be triggered the specific name so that all reports which are scheduled with this trigger name will be executed. Then in here, I can go and select the options that I want. Let's say, for example, that I want a PDF and uh, an Excel not an HTML, and then here I can choose 
to save the report as an external file, which means that the report will be saved in a predefined uh, system folder. And then from there, as soon as the report is prepared, a daemon which runs continuously will find the content uh, in the folder, identify the user who has asked for this report, and then send it to a predefined folder that the user can pick it up. Just for you to have an idea, uh, there are some options here. Uh, usually we select replace existing files in case that the report was there again. Okay, and most importantly, the name, which we can change to anything we want. For example, we can say here, MBT. Okay. And now, what we were talking about before. Here are the prompt values. What I can do is set values. And here is the report as we have seen it before. If I leave it as it is, which is the manual, means that every time that I want to change the time range, I have to go into this report and change the range. Otherwise, we will keep on running the same thing always. But if I do this, if I say dynamic, and you have seen that before, last business date, and here the month date, that means that no matter what, when the report will run, will go and identify what's the last business date. And based on that last business date, uh, the report will uh, run from the beginning of the month of this specific date. Interesting. Here it is, and I can save the report. Now, in case that uh, with the next load, uh, when they ask for the execution of uh, this trigger, all this report, among which is the IDCO5 scheduled by me, will run and bring back the results. I think that this is the end of my presentation. Thank you.